Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a closet declutter. My name is Alina and if you are new to this channel, you haven't seen half of the decluttering we've done here, but we love to declutter. We love to clean out and that's another thing we're going to be doing. And this is probably the first time I decluttered this closet here in this home. I don't remember if I posted one, but I don't think I did. This is my closet. It is currently looking a little rough. Um, I've been <laughs> spring cleaning everywhere else and I just kind of kept shoving like random boxes and things that I had in there. So it's going to be a mystery what we get out of there, but you know, we'll be like Dora the Explorer or something. We'll explore and find out what's going on in there. But I am wearing a hair mask in my hair right now if you are interested. This is something that I do once every like three, four weeks. Pop this in my hair and just chill because that helps to repair my hair, make it stronger. And if you're wondering and if you see any residue, that's why. Wearing like sweats, let's go ahead, jump in and get decluttering. I'm probably going to turn on Crime Junkies, which is my like favorite podcast or like YouTube or something. I'm not sure yet, but gotta get this done. So I hope we can get it done in a few hours. So first step I think is going to be to just pull stuff out, but we also need to exchange the items in here. There's a lot of winter stuff like sweaters and probably like scarves and turtlenecks in there and it's currently like 70 degrees outside and I have a bunch of summer stuff that I brought from my parents house which is the two bins right there and then I have a bunch of bins under my bed so we got to get this started okay we don't got time to waste I think we can do this I literally need to leave here in three hours do you think I can do it I like feel like I can but we got to focus, so no TV, just podcasts. Let's get it done. So if you're in the Northeast and you know how the weather is in New Jersey, New York, it is just literally all four seasons during the spring. So sometimes you just need to have both cold clothes and warm clothes just out and about. But I don't like to put everything out in my closet just because I don't really have the space and I feel like I have a whole new wardrobe whenever I do the season change. So I'm currently taking out all of the winter stuff and putting out my spring summer stuff. So I like to start with shoes just because they are so big and clunky and I keep a lot of the stuff that's kind of off season under my bed. I love the storage bed for my key, it's amazing. But as I go through these shoes, I think about which ones I like, which ones I don't like, and which ones I think would do better off being donated before I even start the season. Now after I take everything out from under the bed, I like to open all of the containers I have full of spring clothes, and this is the time when I kind of sort it. I sort it into pants, tops, swimsuits, like things that I would wear on vacation if I were to go. This way I can categorize them because I like to hang in my closet based on the type of clothing and also the category it fits into. But this time, like, I also am pulling the things that I feel like I'm not going to be wearing anymore. And then I started taking out all the clutter in my closet. You can see there's just so many piles of boxes that piled up and just, like, random shenanigans. The reason my closet looks so full is because I had these two blue containers that I had brought from my parents' house a few days prior because I knew I was going to do this declutter and switcheroo in my closet. And I keep them in my parents' basement just because I don't have too much space in this townhouse. But it also has a bunch of my summer stuff so I pulled that out as well because I like to make sure my containers are empty all right so I have to take a break unfortunately and I was gonna just kind of skip over this and wear the same outfit the next time I film the video um, and just pretend like it didn't happen but I've been telling myself that I need to be more open with you guys um, I've shared that I have a few chronic conditions. I have suffer with Hashimoto's, which is hypothyroidism. I have EDS, joint hypermobility, and just like a bunch of autoimmune conditions. So I suffer with a lot of like fatigue and sometimes like flare ups from my conditions. And I wasn't expecting, like, I've been feeling kind of weird for the past few days. I've been having really, really bad headaches. Um, and out of nowhere it happened again, like, I felt really dizzy and I had to lay down and I've been, like, laying down for an hour, um, trying to continue <laughs> this video because I know I want to get it done for you guys. This is what my room currently looks like. It, it looks like a disaster because I pulled a bunch of stuff out, um, 
but I feel like I can't push myself. So, um, I've rested and I still feel weird. So I think I have enough energy probably for like one more task. And if you know anything about chronic conditions, um, or even ADD and stuff like that, uh, a lot of people talk about spoons, like the way that we function isn't the same as other people. So say you have, I don't know why they reference spoons, but they're like, okay, say you have eight spoons and those eight spoons are everything that you can do for the day. The first spoon will be like brush your teeth. The second spoon will be like eat breakfast. The third spoon will be like change the laundry load. And already you've done three things and you still have like four more spoons or whatever for the day. Um, or five spoons. And like it exhausts you more to do things that don't seem like a lot for other people. And sometimes I have great days. Sometimes I feel like I've accomplished so much. And then other days like I've been postponing making this video because I haven't been feeling well. And this morning I woke up and I felt really good. I was like, okay, I feel like energized. <laughs> and like then it still shows up, you know? So I am gonna take a shower and that will be my final spoon for the day um, because I still need to go to the post office to send out packages um, for just Olina. It's my boutique. I feel really bad. I haven't been feeling well, so I haven't taken them to the post office. So one of the orders hasn't been shipped for seven days and I usually like ship like the next day. Um, and I have to drive back to my boyfriend's house because I've been living at his house. Um, if it was really bad, I would probably stay here, but I don't, I don't have the medication I need. It's at his house. So I it just, I have to go back. Um, and there's just like other stuff about this place that like maybe I'll share in the future, but like I feel really anxious and uncomfortable here. Um, so I'd rather just like use my final spoons to go home to my boyfriend um, in his apartment and just be able to take my medicine and like spend the day tomorrow not worrying about anything. Um, so I'm gonna leave my room like this. And I've done this before when I used to like live at my parents' house or even like here when I would declutter or clean. I would just leave it and push things to the side and just like sleep on the corner of my bed. And something I wanna say is that it's okay to feel that way, whether it's just your mental health um, that's doing it, like whether it makes you too anxious to complete the task or you have ADD or you're, you know, just like the day got away from you. It doesn't have to necessarily be physical. It can also be mental, but like at the end of the day, if you don't feel good, like take time for yourself um, and don't push yourself to the extremes because when you do, that's when your health mentally and physically gets bad. So this was just like a little PSA I didn't mean to include in this video, but I wanted to be more open with you guys because it's hard. It's hard having chronic conditions and it's not fun, um, but you make the best of it and you get really excited about the good days. So looking forward for when I have my next full good day but yeah so next time you see me it'll be a different day and we shall continue this process thank you for listening to my TED talk so the next day bright and early I was feeling so much better this is for anybody who deals with either chronic pain or anxiety this is really the thing that helps me so much and I am so freaking obsessed with it this is the premium Jane CBD oil I've been using this now for like at least two three years I think and to be honest I think that I wouldn't be able to deal with my conditions without this it helps me so much with anxiety as well but I've tried many, many different flavors. I've tried many, many different brands and I always come back to Premium Jane. My favorite flavor I think is the lime, but I do like this one as well. It's the peachy one. I just decided to switch it around. But if you're interested, I do have a coupon code. They gave it to me. I've been reaching out and like in contact with them, but it's only because I love it so much. Um, I would talk about this even if I didn't have a coupon code, but because I know how expensive and sometimes crazy it is to have to 
deal with chronic conditions or just how you feel, um, I'm so glad that I can give you guys a coupon code. They also have like different promotions going on usually, so just check it out. But um, I've tried so many different CBDs and they are not all created equal. This is my favorite. It's the most effective. I take the strongest one, which is like 3000. I also love their topical uh, CBD. I use this whenever I have like pain in a specific area, but typically I'm using this for just overall like help and it's, I swear by it, you guys. So if you want a coupon code, I'll link it down below for you. Um, but just because I mentioned my condition and like how I feel sometimes, like this is what really helps. So if you're interested, definitely, definitely check it out. You can see it's pretty gloomy. So disregard, it gets a little bit better later in the day. But I started off by pulling all of my fall and winter clothes out of the closet. And the goal here, I just threw everything on top of the rest of the spring clothes but I'm folding it and putting it away based on when I'm gonna need to pull it out. So if there's turtlenecks and light sweaters, I'll probably be pulling them out in September, early October, because that's when it starts getting just slightly chilly. But the bigger sweaters that are really fluffy and very warm are more for like November, December, they're in a different bin. And usually those are the ones I take and give to my parents because then I don't need to grab them. The thing is, in two months I'll be moving, so I'm actually going to be grabbing anything and everything that's at my parents' house, because now in my new place I'll have a garage and everything like that, so it'll be nice. But as of right now, I'm also de taking out like all the scarves, hats, and everything like that from the little square bins I have, and I'm replacing it with swimsuits. I used to fold my swimsuits, but I found that this was just so much more effective because swimsuits are hard to fold and usually when I'm going in there, I know what I'm looking for and it's really not that serious. So I do that and I keep two of them on top of this cabinet and one filled with backup beauty products in my closet. And now I'm putting the shoes back onto the shelf that I have on the back of the door, just kind of as much as could fit and organizing it the best I could. Now slowly but surely, I take everything off of that pile and start hanging it up. I like to hang my jean shorts and any tops based on how much space I have in the closet in those areas. So crop tops go where like say the laundry basket is, just so that it's easier to access everything. Now the next step is once everything is out of the closet, obviously to vacuum, and then I like to move on to the top shelves. And I had a load of laundry that I still had to do, so I went ahead, folded that, and folded everything that I wanted to put on that top shelf. A lot of the clothes I have that goes on that top shelf is actually at my boyfriend's house right now because I'm living there with him because we have a kit and it's a whole story. If you wanna hear the whole story, check out my vlog channel. I'll link that down below for you. I just found a bunch of stuff um, that were laying in a pile from Adore Me. You guys, this isn't sponsored, but um, I did do a sponsored video with them a few like weeks ago. It was my Sunday routine. So if you wanna see me try these things on, they will be up there. But, you guys, I need to tell you how much I freaking adore this sweat set. Like, these cargo sweatpants are my absolute favorite. Like, I will literally wear these nonstop. They are my go-tos. If they're not washed, I'm washing them and wearing them the next day. The t-shirt is, like, so comfy, but it's also, like, so fancy. Like, it is such good quality that all my other t-shirts, like, just lack in comparison. I love it, love it, love it and I need it in more colors. Um, the Windbreaker I like as well. I love that it's white, so it matches absolutely everything. I've been wearing it for my morning walks. This like lingerie set is so cute and so springy. I've been loving it, but this one right here, you guys, I, I just cannot stop talking how amazing this is. Every woman needs this bra. No matter how big your chest is, you guys, I have big boobies, and this is great. It is so great. I never thought a wireless bra would like get me like this, but it is so good. It is so comfy. I wear it all the time. I actually prefer it over my typical cotton sports bras that I wear under t-shirts. Like this is my ride or die. Like I need this, like 15 of them, please. And then this bathing suit, I'm so excited because it literally fits so well on the chest and I have such a hard time finding bathing suits that fit well on the chest. Like, I can hold everything together and feel like they're good coverage. And I really like that this is full coverage in the back and very flattering. So, you guys, you need these. Like, if you need to get anything from this set, like from everything I just mentioned, literally the sweat set and the sports bra. Like, you please. Once you go and try these, you'll be like, okay, I get it. I get why she's so freaking obsessed. Like, Adore Me does not need to pay me. 
in order for me to tell you how freaking amazing this bra is. I've been telling everybody, like all my friends know, and they're like, Alina, are you wearing your favorite bra? And I'm like, heck yes. So just saying, <laughs> you need this. Okay, back to decluttering. Um, I decided to put my shoes up there and I just like dusted down below. I'm not gonna really go deep into these drawers over here because I plan on going through them before I move anyway. They have like nail polish and stuff like that. But I did decide to declutter my perfumes. So if you're interested, I'm actually selling a few of them on my Poshmark. I'll link it down below for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's closet declutter. I feel like we didn't go as deep. Like I have a few piles of things that I want to sell, things that I want to give away. But I didn't go as deep as I have in previous uh, declutters because the previous times I did like a whole Kanmari. Like I got rid of everything and... I think that I'm in that place where I want to get rid of a lot of things because I am looking more at these like basics and kind of the style where you invest in a bunch of like good quality items that last you for many years and they're just kind of like this chic style and I find that a lot of the stuff that I have is not like under that umbrella but some of this stuff is and so I think that after we move and after like I use my you know finances for figuring out the house decor and everything maybe like later on towards the fall maybe when I am like you know thinking about fashion again um, maybe I'll do like a style overhaul and in those moments I think I will do a much more deeper uh, declutter where I get rid of the clothes that I feel like I've outgrown in terms of style because I do kind of want my, my style to mature with me um, but I think that I have a really hard time finding the pieces that I envision in my head of like that elevated version of me wearing uh, so I think it's a longer term process where I don't want to like get rid of the things that I feel like just don't fit my vibe anymore and then end up with like no clothes. So <laughs> I very much appreciate this clothes. It has been very good to me and I'm grateful that I have it and it will serve its purpose until I find things that I find replace the items better. So that I think will be my goal after we move, but yeah. I love you guys. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, join the family. We're super nice here. And if you're interested, check out Just Olina, my boutique, because we just launched a ton of new spring headbands and they're so cute. They're so cute.